10 steps forward and five steps back. That's right. So we got the tail back off on the Super Duty here. A couple things we're doing here. I uh, wanted to clean up some of the holes here after we did the drilling for the horizontal. We're gonna finish putting in some of these rivets that we left out earlier. And then something I need to fix that I did very early in the, bit, in the build, and that is these side plates here that uh, help support the horizontal stabilizer. They have the A5 rivets in here and they have to go through this plate and this skin and this angle. And I don't know if you can see, probably not. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Let me change the camera view one sec here. All right, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it here because I can't get my hand in there, but way up there where that next bulkhead is on the top right, so right up in this area here, those side rivets didn't make it all the way through, so we're gonna pull those back out and see if we can suck that in and put new rivets in there. I think we did that on both sides, so we'll have to address that on both, both sides. Right up in that area there, I don't know if you can see it, I'm looking at a small screen right now. All right, guys, this is uh, drawing SD75-FR as in Romeo-10. And this shows that side plate here, and it talks about A5 rivets. Um, this was that area up here where pretty much everything was A5, but as you get to this section right here where this cross member is going up on an angle, you've got to go through this plate, this skin, this bracket, and also the corner bracket as well. Of the longeron so if you look at the difference here between a five and six rivet there's quite a difference there so what i did is i ended up just replacing the two that fell a little short with a sixes and they protrude through nicely so you might check before you go riveting this plate on the side and make sure that your a5 or in this case a6 rivets are making it all the way through the plate the skin the angle and the launcher on before you rivet them. All right, for anybody fitting up their uh dorsal fin on the top of the super duty uh, i'm going to give you a couple tips that helped me out um, there may be different ways to do this but all of these holes along here of course are not pre-drilled on the fuselage you have to figure out where they go and with the exception of you know measuring or doing something there there's not really a guide to how to best fit this up but there's a couple checkpoints here one of them being this small cutout in the aluminum here as well as this last hole. So if you squeeze the dorsal fin together and place this cutout around this rivet on the fuselage and you have this last hole in the dorsal fin on top of the rivet and of course you're butted up against your horizontal, you do that on both sides, that will essentially self-center the dorsal fin on the fuselage. Now you can also check that by placing a mark here and then measuring to the center on both. And I believe it was like 12 and a half if I remember, it could be wrong, but double check that. So from the outer edge to the center and then from the center to the outer edge should be the same. And then it's just a matter of drilling these holes out and clicking them in. And then when you're ready to rivet this at a later date, it's all set to go. Now there are a couple places here where the holes, these are all new holes where the holes line up with an existing rivet line, in which case what I'll probably do there is just take my unibit and open that hole up a bit. I don't think you're gonna really, you know, be missing anything if this particular rivet right here is not actually holding this part down because there's about 20 rivets along here. You could always put one next to it or you could drill this rivet out and put a whole new one in, but then you gotta deal with the pieces falling into the fuselage and getting those out. So that's up to you. For me, Probably just gonna open that hole up and let it sit around the existing rivet. Um, the rest of these all have new holes. There's a couple holes where you'll have to notch around the rivet. There's one there. There's one where we'll have to open the hole up. That one's already notched. And then there's one back here in the back. Now in the back, slightly different story. 
because we don't have a rivet between here and here, we'll probably open this hole up and then maybe place a rivet right here just to keep this end down. As far as the finish, that's going to vary because everybody's going to mount their horizontal fin slightly differently. Um, I had a nice gap here at the top and then it get kind of tight right here. So I basically just took a Sharpie and ran it evenly around the edge and I'm going to create a little relief cut right there. We can always come back and fill this in with uh, some rubber gasket material, edge, edge, uh, edging material. And then down here, you know, there's not really a pretty way to do this. We do have one rivet there we're going to have to go around. And then I think what I'll probably do is just cut this in line with this back mounting plate and then we'll probably place a rivet right here somewhere. So that's where we're at. We'll keep moving on. A couple of things to consider in the tail here. You're going to have to cut. You see this long candy bar shaped hole there. You will have to cut a small relief in the front because there is not enough room for that bracket to go all the way forward and allow the elevator to come down enough. It goes up plenty, but it doesn't come down enough. So there'll have to be a slight cut there. Not a big deal, but just one thing to keep in mind. Also got these uh, tail end stiffeners in here. Kind of that same issue you have where you've got three different layers here. You know, do you put it on the outside? Do you put it on the inside? I think it looks better here and I don't think you're going to see this. This basically just kind of gives a fairing to the uh, rudder as it you know mounts internally here one tip I will give and this is really important to those that are um, Building a rudder kit way ahead of their fuselage all these brackets here now This comes with the fuselage kit But they require a certain size hole and the hole that is in there is not the size hole That it will be drilled out to so there's several brackets like these where they look like they have a hole You mount them up and then you find out you have to open up the hole later open up those holes ahead of time a perfect example of this is on the rudder itself so not only did we have to do the relief cut because we had an early kit we have to open up these holes to i think one was a quarter inch one was a number 12. not a big deal down here because you can go straight up from the bottom but when you're talking about these here it's extremely hard because of how close it is to get a drill in here and open those up correctly so Something to keep in mind when you're finishing these parts, getting ready to rivet them on when you're building your rudder kit, is take them off, clean them up, drill the holes to the finished size, and then rivet them on because it's going to be a lot harder later to get a hole in there. All right, so we'll take a look here at how we finished up this edge. Came down here like this. We've got a small cutout for the rivet there on the end. And then as we wrap around to the side here, I just went ahead and opened this up a little bit. We'll end up with a rivet right here like this, and then this will pull down a little bit and then a rivet. And then we'll come up with some edging or something to go on here to fill that gap. Again, the Super Duty is not a high speed, low drag kind of aircraft, but uh, just for, for aesthetics, we'll, we'll be basically you know fill these gaps with some stripping of some type. But other than that, that dorsal is all fit up. Now it's on to fitting up the upper fin and then integrating that into the rudder, and we'll pick that up in the next episode. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna be finishing up the vertical tail, horizontal tail, fairing combination there, getting that all trimmed up to fit, and then we'll probably send it out to get powder coated like the tail, uh, and then we're back on the wings again. We gotta get that second wing started and the first wing wrapped up. So if you're liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe. And again, it's Adam and the Aeroworks Workshop. We'll see you on the next video.